Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to counter Julius Malema's view on Israel. Okay, he is going to the Israeli embassy with his EFF party, and they're going to protest the state of Israel on the 100th anniversary of the Balfour Declaration. The 100th anniversary is today, November the 2nd, of the Balfour Declaration. This is where the British government signed in 1917 that they are committed to a state for the Jewish people. Let me explain what happened in 1948 when Israel became a country. Okay, is, the Jews were going to have certain control of Israel. The Arabs or the Palestinians were going to have certain control of Israel. But Jerusalem was going to be a jointly owned city by the Jews and the Arabs, and it was going to be a shared city for both of them. Well, the Jews accepted this plan, but the Palestinians did not, and they launched an all-out war on Israel. Okay? And that's just not, and that's rarely mentioned. Okay? Also, as I pointed out in previous videos, Israel allows, um, it allows Israeli Arabs or Palestinians to serve in its parliament, or the Knesset. They also allow Israeli Arabs um, or Palestinians to join the military, to join their military. It's not mandatory like it is for Jews, and military service is mandatory in Israel for men and women, but, but Palestinians can join the Israeli military voluntarily. Okay? And when they do join voluntarily, they have a lot of... Um, Important assignments. A Bedouin tracker actually uncovered some key Hamas tunnels. And he was not Jewish. He was Bedouin. And he was in the Israeli military. Plain and simple. Okay? People need to know that. That's not something an apartheid state does. Okay? And... Okay, in hospitals in Israel, and a black South African pastor recently went to Israel and he did a video with Prager or Prager U. And, okay, hospitals in apartheid South Africa, blacks had to enter se uh, in separate entrances, okay? Separate waiting rooms. This guy did not have to do that in Israel. And when he got sick and got put in the hospital, he shared a room with, uh, with an Israeli and with a Palestinian. And the Palestinian told him that Israel was not an apartheid state, that a lot of the myth of Israel being an apartheid state was coming from the media. So Julius Malema just doesn't get it right there. Okay? Israel's not the problem. EFF and Julius Malema are. And there's things that Israel does in Ramallah and the West Bank that I don't agree with. I don't agree with a lot of things. Well, I don't agree with some. I should say I don't agree with some things that Israel does. Okay? But Israel has a democracy. They have freedom of religion. They allow Arabs to serve in their parliament. That's not what you would call apartheid. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.